All right, so in this video, we're going to be using the Python Selenium package, which is a web scraping package that we've covered in previous videos. And what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be showing you how you can make use of the Chrome web browser to do all your of your Selenium needs. So in previous videos on this channel, the browser that we've been using is Firefox. Indeed, that is mostly the default browser that is used in many of the examples. But for instance, if you're testing on um, you know, your website or whatever you happen to be doing, if you want for whatever reason to test how some of these things are going to be working in the Chrome browser, this video will show you precisely how to select the Chrome browser. It's not exactly straightforward and intuitive. So we're gonna be covering that in this brief video. So um, the first thing that I'm going to assume in this video is that you have Python installed and also the Selenium package. Uh, so I will link to the videos on Selenium below in the description on, on my channel. Uh, I'll also link to the main documentation for the Selenium package as well. If you have Python installed, it's very easy to install Selenium. All you need to do is open up a terminal and assuming you have pip, you say pip install Selenium. So I'm gonna run this command, but it's not gonna do anything for me because I already have this requirement satisfied. So if you already have Selenium installed, you'll see a similar message. Otherwise, you'll see a bunch of things installing. Whatever the case is, uh, you will have Selenium installed in your machine and you'll be ready to follow along. So I'm gonna close this terminal window and I'm going to start writing a very minimal script that will show you how to use Chrome. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say from Selenium imports web driver as this is the only component that we're going to be using in this video and i'm also going to import uh actually no that's all i'm going to import so uh what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of refresh ourselves as to how we would open up a browser window um, using kind of Firefox, which is more or less the default browser that Selenium uses. So the pattern that we've seen in previous videos is something like this. We'll say driver is equal to web driver. So we'll create a driver object and say it's equal to this web driver dot Firefox, which specifies the browser that we wish to use. And then we'll say something like driver dot git. And in this, uh, in these parentheses between quotes, we will put the name of a website that we wish to open. So for instance, if we put something like uh, google.com, and if we run this, so uh, by the way, I'm running this in uh, Sublime Text, this will open up a Firefox window. You can tell that from the bottom uh, tab here, and it opens up to google.com. So this is the way that we've done it before. Of course, the point of this video is to change this pattern so that way we have a Chrome browser opening instead of a Firefox. So I'm going to leave this here for reference, leave kind of a comment that says uh, old way of doing things that works with Firefox. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to do this uh, in Chrome. So there'll be a similar pattern, but we need to do one or two slight changes. The first change that we need to do is we need to actually download a uh, sort of a program that's going to allow us to use Chrome, and this is called Chrome Driver. This is something that we're going to invoke when we actually open up a, a Chrome browser uh, using Selenium. So what we need to do is we need to uh, open up any web browser. I happen to be opening up Chrome here, but it doesn't matter. And I searched for Chrome driver and the first link that showed up in Google was this one right here. And I will link to this in the description below. This is where you can draw, download the Chrome driver program that we will need. So I'll link to this. All you need to do is click on this link here. You'll be presented with a bunch of zip files, uh, one for whatever distribution, whatever operating system you happen to be on. Uh, I happen to be on Linux 64. So this is the one that I'll download. So that'll download a zip file. I'll extract this to my downloads folder. And that's for the time being, uh, all you need to do. So I'll extract that there. Let's show the files. So that is the Chrome driver program in my downloads folder. So just do that for whatever operating system you're on and you'll be good to go. Let me open up the code again. And what we're gonna do is we need to tell Selenium where this Chrome driver program is that we've downloaded it. So if you wanna move it somewhere else, go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it in my downloads folder for now. And I'm going to define a variable called Chrome driver. And this will be a string that relates to the path with where, uh, where Chrome driver is actually stored on my machine. So remember I extracted it to the downloads folder. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up this uh, downloads folder, right click on Chrome driver, and then just copy this location or the path where uh, Chrome driver is living on my machine. 
So I'm going to copy that, paste that there, and then put in Chrome drivers. That's the name of the file that we're trying to find. And this uh, variable, again, corresponds to the location of where Chrome driver is on my machine. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to do a very similar pattern to what we saw up here. I'm going to define another driver object. I'm going to say webdriver dot now chrome dot firefox and in between these parentheses I want to put the location of where the chrome driver program is located on my machine again which is given by this path here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say driver dot git and I will also just open up uh, google.com the first website that pops into my head and then I'm going to run this and we're going to see if Google actually opens up. So as you can see, Chrome is the browser that popped open. You can see that from the tab down here and it opened up to google.ca because I happen to be in Canada. So that's that. That is um, the whole point of this video. Um, so I will be covering why you might want to use Firefox in upcoming videos. Uh, because there's some nice plugins that can be um, used, especially alongside Selenium. But if you're testing a website and you want to make sure that certain aspects of it work in Chrome, uh, this might be a very reasonable thing to do. So this video shows you how to do that. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.